Greetings and welcome back, Beaverkin. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we are playing Timberborn as always. So I am still not up to. I'm I'm a I'm like a Catasaurus Rex right now. I have my left arm is fine, but my right arm is like like a T Rex. It's it hurts and it's bent and it's yeah you know, all, all the things. Anyway, we're playing Timberborn. Um, anyway, also my head has been so bad because I haven't gotten the new glasses yet. They're still on order. Um, so seeing stuff is rough. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to read like all of the quotes and things and, and stories. Um, but forgive me if I get some words wrong. Um, I'll try to get them right. Anyway, we're back to our town. Um, I had a thought here, uh, that this place could be great for a Lido. Don't you think? Wouldn't that be nice? I think that would be great. Okay, so let's go ahead and add one. Oh, look at this. It's like it's tailor-made for it. This is like a nice shallow paddling pool. I think the beavers would love that. Now this area, I did intend to have the dams there uh, so that they could get fresh water flowing in there. You wouldn't want the water to get stagnant. I mean, it's gonna be stagnant in the pond, but anyway, uh, I did intend to have that there. However, I might change that. Now, a few people have told me that dams only hold 0.7 uh, of a height of a voxel. Now, I had heard before, and that was the 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 thing. It was it was 0.5. That's why I kept using them in place of uh, floodgates. Uh, they do have the advantage of being able to be walked over, but I think what we want to do... Oh, look at this. They're all... Oh, they're all swimming. Oh, that's so nice. Hey, isn't that great? I love that. That's so nice. They are actually like swimming and having a good time. All the beavers all the time. Hooray. So um, anyway, what I was going to do is delete these blocks here. So let's just... How long do we have? We have plenty of time. We have plenty of time until the drought. All right, we're deleting this, we're deleting this and that. Uh, all right, and then we want to do a thing where we add levees here. I'm gonna control this via the floodgates there because they do exist. Let's delete this, also create levees here. I'm going to put these on priority because they are very important to us. There we go, okay. So let's put this on high priority. Honestly, my head has been so bad. I have no idea what's going on in our colony, but I'm going to try to make this episode coherent because I really want to get back to the game. Oh no, no, wait, what's happening? Oh, this is bad. What is going on here? Is he drowning? Is he dying? Oh no. Oh dear. What? Well, what's happening here? This is, this is very bad. I think we're going to have to delete the Lido. Oh, I can't even tell who it is. Who is this? Hello? Mizilkri, beaver is stranded. Mizilkri, I, I, I think you're, you're, you're swishing about a bit. Um, he doesn't look like he's particularly dying necessarily. So I'm wondering if we can just leave him there until, <laughs> this sounds horrible. If we can leave him there <laughs> until they rebuild these things. Let's see. Oh, now that, that looks, <laughs> that actually looks a bit naughty now. <laughs> oh my God. We're going to try to unhighlight him. He, he does look very unhappy there, but let's just, let's just keep a track of his stats. Okay. He's not dying at all. Look at this, his thirst and hunger. He's just exercising, you know, like stomach crunches. That's what he's doing. Clearly it's stomach crunches. You, you can definitely tell you, you can definitely tell. Yes, this is, this is most interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid looking. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the worst thing ever. Oh jeez. Okay. All right. So now he has a path. Now what? Hello? Okay. <laughs> that was so dumb. <laughs> okay. It's fine now. It's just fine. Everything is fine. Nobody noticed anything happening there. Okay, this building's unhappy. What's going on with this? <laughs> All right, they have, they have no nothing to do here. Cattail crap, crackers, maple pastries. I think the other two buildings are making the other things. So let's go with those. Now we have not yet made our other things. What are we co cooking here? Inventors huts. Do we want that there? What I'm thinking is I do want to have the hut that gathers the tree stuff around here somewhere. So I'm thinking maybe here, take this log pile and move it. I thought about using like these, 
but then I'm like, eh, I don't know. I think we need to, maybe we, we remove the campfire because there isn't, well, there are homes here. The, the weird part about this, log storage and the campfire both have to be on a ground surface, which is a tiny bit annoying. But uh, can we put the, the other thing which we don't have yet, the tapper's shack. This is 500. Somebody asked me to put that. I'm like, well, I'm gonna hold on. Patience, please. We could put it here and then just have them go down and into the forest here to get materials. Or they could be here. Each step up is two two path tiles though it shouldn't really matter that much to be perfectly honest what we can do is let's see if we have the entrance here we could have a bridgey bridgey no we'd have to have down there and curl around like that yeah that would work though okay i think that would work let's um let's build what we need here first which is going to be two of these. And we need a stairway here. And then roads. Yes. Okay. And that way we'll have the tapper's shack up here. What we could do is have a... We could have another beaver home there. The single beaver home. But I don't think it's very good for... Um, what do you call it? Efficiency. Efficiency is not good. Uh, there with that. All right, but here we have so much power. This is so fantastic. This is great. What's going on with you guys? Hello? Hello? Why are you homeless? No. We have one beaver homeless. This is very sad. Very sad. Oh, and speaking of beavers, we need to talk about the beavers a tiny bit. We have stories to tell. All right, so let's go and have our first story here. This comes from this it comes from the Duke Abides. Gone fishing. Since the mass migration of brave beavers to this most amazing new settlement, I have been working flat out building everything from water pumps to dams. I have worked so hard my tail aches and my paws are withered to the quick. Without helping the lumberjacks, um, while out helping lumberjacks the other morning, a friend called me to the very top of a most majestic tree to show me the amazing sight of the waterfall way off to the north camera pans way off to the north calling it life springs these falls were sparkling in the morning sun and looked so inviting i have decided to take a sabbatical to go and see them for myself so upon my door you will find a sign gone fishing i will return once i feel recuperated i have packed a few days of supplies and i am off beer Evocation time, sun, sap, and a spring in my step. Oh, that sounds so nice. Now, we have another story as well. And this comes from Totally Not a Fox. I wonder what you're, you are if you're not a fox? Question mark. As I ate a bag of grilled chestnuts for breakfast, I met my friend Vomu from the town hall's building team down at the bakery. She looked frustrated, so I waved her over to the table after she got her order. We chatted a bit about stories of an iron tooth living beneath us and the scary rumors of the Deliverer. After we finished talking about the fascinating glass a kind beaver brought uh, to one of our labs, I asked what bothered her. Turned out that one of the architects forgot to plan a staircase up to the new floor on the river estate, and no beaver had the courage to tell him. They were able to get some of the buildings finished from beneath, but the walkway turned out to be too tricky to construct. She didn't seem to be sure if she should step forwards and mention it and hope that the great KOS would fix it for them. It was kind of strange to see a beaver of her strength being afraid of telling some beaver that he missed something. Never judge a tree based on his bark, I guess. Day 18. I met Vomu at the town hall, and with a smile on her face, she said that they finally can finish the project. I have to make a note about visiting the yet-to-be-built temple to thank KOS for making my friend happy. Memoirs of a friend. I do enjoy these memoirs so much, I have to say. It's very exciting. All right. 
And speaking of that beaver, we have a story again of Tomas. Thank you, Severus Terrace, for this. Cycle 7, day 17. Just as the drought was looming near, I was moved to a new lodge. And when given directions, I find a staircase yet to be constructed to get there. I did not fancy sleeping outdoors, so I snagged an extra helping of the roasted chestnuts and hurried off to Tomas's new cave near the orchards on the far side of the water flows. I did not... Uh, he let out a yelp when I bumped into some sticks he'd hung up on a line and made them clatter and clap. Be gone! I am no deliverer, he cried out. Just an old beaver who wishes to be left alone. I was puzzled. Wait, someone thinks you're the boogie beaver? Tomas immediately changed his tone. Oh, it's you. Yes, I thought it was the ones shouting at me the other day. I never saw them. By the time my eyes could adjust, there were just a log floating on the river. They said they were everywhere, so I want to know if they're coming. I gave him the roast chestnuts to provide a change of subject. Again, he was delighted. Oh my, the roasting gives them such flavor, he said. The topic again shifted to why I was coming by at so late an hour, and I explained. Such things happen from time to time, he assured me. It's not much, but there's room for another in this cave. Us iron teeth are used to tight quarters. I was grateful to not have to sleep outside. But if all iron teeth smore, snore like a small sawmill, <laughs> I, I, I have to wonder how they ever get any sleep at all. <laughs> Aw, that's so nice. Okay, so we have this information gathered. Now, we also have this information, which is not good here. I think I might try to open this up a tiny bit. So we're not in the drought stage. Let's go ahead and open this up to half a tile. Wait, what is the height here? It's actually 0.7 right now. So this, something here is happening to make this at 0.7. And I don't know what it is. So we have dams on this side. We have one dam on this side. Let's go ahead. I want to replace that, I think, with a levee. Let's just delete this section of stuff before we get to our other stories that we have planned for today. Um, mm, 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 there we go. Kaboom. Yes, delete. All right. Let's build a levee here with staircase or stair uh, connection device called a road. And then we need to um, upgrade this. There we go. Upgrade the priority and so they can fix that. Okay, very good. Um, so yeah, there's something weird going on here. What we have here is we have dams. And these are at 1. Why are they at 1? These are also at 1. 1. And these are also at... These are at 0.5 because we just put them there. So how was water getting in? I guess water was getting in through that one dam and making it 0.7. Huh. Confusion City, hello. Welcome to Confusion City where we all dwell occasionally. <laughs> all right, we want those trees to grow. So that's why I'm letting the water out there. If As it gets closer to drought time though, we are going to, um, yeah, we're going to close it back up. Anyway, we have news from Research Huts. This is very, very important. We have been graced by notes from Zerkoi. Again, Zerkoi's research notes. Cycle 7, day 16. Training bees to go into lodges has proven to be harder than previously expected. On top of that, a strange piece of glass has appeared on my desk with a note about stargazing or something. I spilled honey all over it before reading. Maybe I can combine the two. The glass has made viewing the bees for training much easier. My bee hats have been effective at both blocking bee stings and making bees cuter. Do bees look... <laughs> Jeez. First I thought you were putting hats on the bees. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> do, do bees like looking at the stars? Working on... <laughs> observatory prototype. Thank you, Zoe Zebra, for that information. We appreciate it. <laughs> Jeez. 
<laughs> so speaking of observatories, um, the costs have been reduced for these things. I have no idea what is going to happen with stuff with the planks here. I don't know if they can take any back. Um, but obviously that change happened while uh, I didn't. Well, it just happened between recordings, basically. Uh, so, yeah, that's a thing that is existing right now. Um, yeah, it's, it's existing right now. Let's see. Let's go ahead and actually, we don't need to prioritize this yet. I think I kind of want to get the pine resin and maple stuff. But at the moment, we have mountains of food. We really don't need food. Um, we do need paper, however. And I want paper. So did we open one of these up for paper storage? Hello? Yes, we have paper. Hooray. Okay, what that means is we can make better windmills. We can make better windmills and we can also make <laughs> explosives. But to make explosives, we need one other thing, of course, uh, which is metal. We need metal stuff, I think. We need metal blocks to build the explosives factory um, and then paper. So what we need to do is find the nearest metal. We need to find uh, the nearest metal. Uh, we have, oopsies, let's see. We have, where is the nearest metal? Okay, so here, there's some here. This actually might be something that we can do is go to this island and retrieve the metal or we can go up here up the up here part seems like a really good idea right now i'm wondering if we what we could do though is we could build some housing out here maybe or maybe here something like that and put in a city center maybe around here maybe it's in the middle of this of this area I think that might be the case. You never can tell. This this uh, is very kind of uncertain ground right now. It's quite pretty though. It's lovely where how the water like flows down these levels like this. Um, all right, so what's going on here? Nothing to do in range. So we really want to cut the trees. Uh, hello? And those are in range. Do we not have cut order? We do have a cut order. That's weird. Oh, it's the forester. Jeez, what am I thinking? Okay, we're going to plant maple tr er, yeah, maple trees. Maple trees out here. Yes, hooray. Uh, we could technically, if we wanted to, build a tapper's shack out here as well. Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, yes, it is going to work, actually. Actually. Uh, we don't want to plant in the middle of there. I don't think they're going to anyway, but we don't want to um, in the first place. So this needs to be unpaused because we do have the block figured out. So what we could do is build like a huge city on the water there or like, um, you know, people housing complex somewhere there. We could have some water pumps in here in this large sort of reservoir down there. And my plan was going to be something like uh, share the leisure activities, share the monuments because they're very expensive to make and they, yeah, they cost a lot of material. So I was going to build like housing on the edges of two districts. And that is definitely a possibility. And I think with the land that we have, I don't know if we want to even build it on land. Maybe we build it on platforms and make it kind of, you know, kind of interesting, like a sort of water world situation going on. I don't know if we need to. We have places like this, um, but this area here is the kind of break point. If we look at our town center, we can see that they stop walking here. This is the furthest they will walk. So if I put town here and then a district gate between them right in this area, then we will be able to have town stuff going on. Yeah. And that, that would be the plan for now. I guess what I should do is do some power underneath perhaps on the bottom floor 
And I guess I have to move those power shafts in that direction. Let's see here. Oh yeah, we did plan this to go that away. So that's already happening, I guess. Let's see, how is this working? Did we fix this area? Yes, so this is slowly flowing in. This is going here. What I want to do is I want to kind of dynamite some of this area around here to have the water uh, existing here. As in, um, I don't, and though I don't know, one thing I don't know is maybe if I dynamite this, this might actually be too tall to get water from having a hole there. So that's not ideal. Many things are happening and some of them are not ideal, I've noticed. So is it worth moving the town center? You know, moving all of this housing up there? I don't know. Maybe, possibly, probably. What do we get from our first thing? So we have two, two beavers, two kinds of beavers. We have young ones and old ones. And last time, I know a lot of people mentioned this. When I was looking at the things like the... Uh, what do you call it? Aesthetics. There were no bonuses because I was looking at a baby beaver. So yeah, that's a thing. All right. So we have the awe. Working speed, 25% on the laborer monument. That's pretty good. Walking speed on the flame of progress is very nice as well. So if I could put those kind of in the middle of a town, would that would be kind of great. Kind of really great. Mud bath, working speed. Lido is working speed as well. That's a very low bonus for the expense of the Lido. It's very expensive to build one. Books are great. Temple. I think we should build a temple soon. Maybe what we do is have the temple up here. If we have our, our houses in this area, and I'm kind of thinking that this might be a kind of a cool idea to do. Um, the temple could be up here. All right, let's... Well, right now we have so many projects going on. I'm kind of like reticent to start more. We do have three unemployed beavers, however. So that tells me maybe we build another shack for them. What's going on here? Hello? It's not connect. Oh, really? Wow. I must have had, there must have been a tree there. That's why it wasn't connected. But we do have a number of science huts right now, which is kind of a lot. We have too many, I think. We... We kind of want to shut some of those down and put them into other working situations. Now, somebody mentioned that the logs here may not be reflecting our actual log amounts. Yeah, we have 10 logs. That's not good. So I think, so what, what's going on here? Do we have log gathering up here? Probably not, I would reckon. I don't see a log gathering place up here at all. Okay, so we need log gathering up here. That's necessary. Uh, let's go ahead and delete one of these trees. Let's delete that one on priority, please. There we go. Uh, and then here we have... We have one beaver working? Really? Ah. Uh, I think this is not an ideal situation. So I think what we need to do is... Oh, wait. Maybe it's just we don't have them cut? No, they're, they're cuttable. They are cuttable, so let's get another, let's do two things here. I want to get a large storage area out here for one. Let's see, mark resources for demolition. Let's delete these and we're gonna get another beaver cutter. A log cutting person, a lumberjack. Okay, so this is fun, this is fine. It's all working nicely. Nobody else, nobody's here yet, right? Technically, they could use their logs for the Lido. <laughs> yes, they could. Okay, so they have 50 logs. How much does the Lido need? They need 40. That sounds great. All right, so I'll migrate some over there in the morning. And we're going to have, we're going to stop sending stuff there. Wait, do they have anything else? They have no water? They don't have any water. This is not good. Oh, they have water there. I wonder if they can take from a place that's flooded. I don't know. Now, what I was thinking also is here to, if we want to make this like a little fun zone, we could have a um, a road go going underneath there. All we need to do is blow up this one block. Yeah, all we need to do, TM, right? <laughs> 
Yeah, lots to do, lots to do. Okay, let's get some more maple going on over here. Plant, 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 go for it. Gotta get them beavers working. Okay, and nobody's working here, why not? It's not connected, oh, that's right. Mm. Yeah, so that's a big problem actually because it's not close enough to the district center. That is not ideal, like really not ideal. Like the opposite of idealness. Okay, so here we are getting these moved. Let's go ahead and just prioritize this section here. Get stuff going. Okay, so that's just going through there a tiny bit. What else have we got going on? Cattails are happening, crackers are happening, paper is happening as well. I'm tempted to get the wind windmills, the large ones. I don't know if we, we actually need them though. Right now we're we're making much more power than we're actually using, so that's that seems okay. Um, all right. So right now the water's coming down through here and going turning, and going into our water mills. Now we really want to get these thingies going. Now we had this happening, and I feel like we should prioritize that. Let's see, let's get a power shaft intersection. We'll go here. This is gonna be an intersection for wheels. Okay, but we need, oh, we need to pause all this, right? I wonder if they can reach up and build the water mills, water wheels beneath this, like from underneath. Maybe they can, I don't know. That seems like an interesting idea. But I do want to get those things going. I think they probably can. They're obviously building the platform underneath there. Um, with that section there. I'm still wondering, should I build beaver housing here? The only problem with building beaver housing out this far is we're going to have to be really careful not to build it way too tall. I would have to build it almost like right here, I think. Um, because of... Well, we could build it. Maybe we build it up here. Uh, because the the stairs, the stairs cost two movement points to go up. So I'm thinking, I think maybe we just leave the town set. Oh no, there's not enough space over here though. I feel like we should move a bunch of stuff. Like we should move the farming out here. We should change all of this stuff. There's like so many things I'm I'm considering with this. Um, yeah, I am. I'm thinking of things and stuffs. Let's see, this goes, can go there. Um, let's see, do this kind of thing and then could do something like that in order to connect these two pieces of land here. But we need some bridges, bridgey bridges. How wide is this? This is one, two, three, four. So two twos would be fine here. We did something like, hello. There we go. Okay, let's delete that. Does not want to be there. There we go. Like there. And then we have a one. <laughs> A one and a nothing and a one. All right, we got to get a one. There we go, 100 science points for that. Okay, that is actually kind of cool. So if we do this, we have the ability, we have already stairs there, which is kind of nice. They don't have to be built. This, I think, might work better that way. And the reason for that, I'm trying to make a square section where we can have something like a house here or something there. I wonder what that's going to be like for travel. However, we can also build a straight road this way. I think that might also be great. Oh yeah, that's going to be really great. Hold on. Let's see. I want to cut uh, these trees. Oh, they are cuttable. But nobody's cutting them. Uh, oh yeah, that's because yeah they're too far away. But I think I can build, let's build a tree cutter real quick uh, right here. And then they can just delete them real quick. And then we'll, we won't have any trees over here, I think. I think we want to build a walkway right this way. So that 
Our current forms of entertainment are accessible to beavers living in this area, which is going to be kind of cool. I think this is going to be great. Okay, so we'll do, we'll do a cutting order on all of these bits and pieces. There we go. I think that's all. And then here as well. Now, the temple, I think, is four by four, so it would fit quite comfortably on this area. So that may be all right. Now, the question is, how do we want to add this next district? Kind of thinking, could do a district center around somewhere. Oh, we could put it on the top of that hill. That would be a bit crazy, but we can't really reach there just yet. <laughs> we definitely can't reach there just yet. Let's add some more maple trees here. Let's go. All right, good, good. So they can start growing. Very important that they start. Best day to plant a tree is today. Hooray. Alrighty. So now we have, okay, beavers are cutting down those trees, which is great. Now these beavers, can they reach all the way to the end? Yes, they almost can. Almost. <laughs> Not quite, not, not quite. Okay, so let's just, we need to plant, plant trees. Hello, maple, there we go. Let's see if any of these need planting. Oh, we needed this for the chopper choppers. There we go. So that can be on high as well. Okay, things are happening. Things are getting built. Very few things are getting built. Oh, I was going to send someone. Let's send someone to this other district. Let's send, I don't know, one person or two. Two people to district five. five. Yeah, there we go. Migrate. There we go. And they can use, hopefully they can use the logs here to build this Lido. It is in their area. There they go. They're just building stuff. That's great. They're just using all the logs that, that they have. And they're also, oh, they're using some on this as well. That's quite nice. Hooray. Okay. Things are happening. This is great. All right. There we go. Oh, yes. I forgot to tell you about one more thing. We had a message from... Sam. Cycle 7, day 12. After being back in the field, we are going home. The damn construction platoon has grown. The new guys are inexperienced, but eager to learn. I had quite the fun time with them out there. I heard they planned to actually build housing, though we were so quick that we didn't even get to build them. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, we are that damn good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, time to get back home and work on the dams for the water wheel project. Sam Beaver, first dam construction platoon. I like this. This is very, like, celebratory. Fantastic. Now, of course, that was a note from the other project where, yeah, things happened. But anyway, we have no more logs. So therefore, let's move. Let's move our beavers. Yep, let's move them. Migrate back home to Snacktopia. <laughs> I love the name of that. <laughs> That's so good. All right. Oh, and they built the roof. Hooray. They built a roof right there. Now, someone was annoyed that I didn't build awnings. I will build awnings eventually. Don't worry about it. I just don't know if this is as tall as it's going to get. It's going to be fine. Um, however, some of these, like these little housey entrances, could definitely benefit from awnings. I will say that. Let's see what we have in terms of decorations. Roof one... Yeah, 60 science points. That's fine. Benches are 80. Oh my god. That's expensive. But we can actually add those decorations to awnings. As awnings, I should say. Or we could make a like a covered bridge over here. That might be cool. All right, three days. And then we are going to experience another drought. All right. Things are going. Things are happening. Hooray. Actually, let's go ahead and build. Oh, it's built. Hooray. All right. Fantastic. Okay, so this area, they are now collecting logs here. We have, this has been built. I'm going to go ahead and unpause the power shaft intersection. So that can also get uh, some gears going on. And then we'll slowly build this. But I think the next thing that we want to prioritize is going to be this pathway as well as those. And 
and we decided, okay, we did remove these trees, but we do need to remove that one as well. I kind of forgot to do the delete command. So there we go. Kaboom and kaboom. We're going to get rid of all those pines. And this has, there's no logs, I think. Yep. We're no logs. So bye-bye. Yep. See ya. Okay. Now then, we have a situation of needing some water transport. And I think this might be a good chance to just put some platforms in like this, like a road. And we're going to try to meet up with this situation up here. Now then, how do we want this situation to commence? This is what I'm wondering. Do we want like carousels and random stuff up here? Like playtime features? I'm thinking we kind of do. We actually kind of do. So let's see. How do we want to go up there? I think this might be the way. Or do we want them to be able to get on this ledge? Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, probably. Probably we want them to get on that ledge. So let's put one there. Um, No, not there. Actually, let's do something different here. Let's put this on the bottom and then three on top. Okay, and then a two and then a one. I'm trying to think of like how would this best work? Um, yeah, this is going to be good right there. It, in terms of like trans, uh, transferring the power as well. So there we go. We have a connection there. Beautiful. Yay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Ah, oh, this is nice. Hooray. Okay. Beavers are happy to be doing stuff. We have <laughs> less logs now. That's okay. We should be getting more soon. All right. And these people need more stuff to do as well. So we, we were going to replace all of these trees with maple as soon as they grew up. So that's what's happening now. Now this beaver is uh, collecting logs. So let's see. Are we, those are in the cut zone. That's just fine. All right. So I think we're doing pretty well, except for we need another lumberjack's post over here because we were just waiting for them to remove those trees. Uh, and then we need a log storage over here. I think the first lumberjack post is really suffering from lack of storage, as in as soon as they cut, you know, 20 logs, then they have to truck them all back way, way over here or over there potentially. Um, and it's better just to use hauler beavers for that, I think. So we have zero unemployed at the moment, so that's okay. Good, good. Oh, look at this. Things are getting made. Happy beavers are happening. This is so good. This is exciting. All right. So hmm. now then power wheel. I don't know if they can reach underneath. So we're just going to put this in right now, I think. And... I'm not really sure how we want this to go forward. Should we just keep it at that level, the power? Um, and then just kind of like go over this section here. I think that's a good idea, actually. Let's see. That is two above that ground level. So it would be one above this ground level, as in like right on top of this. Um, we could maybe go underneath this. So I want to make this two instead like that. So we can have a power connection underneath that. I think that'll work. I hope that'll work. Oh, first bridgey bridgey done. Hooray. All right. Drought coming in 1.1 days. Now this should be a very nice direct connection here and should really work quite well. Okay. There we go with that road. Very good. All right, beavers doing their beavery things. This is exciting. Okay, so we have 1,400 points. Now that enables quite a lot of stuff to go on here. Now then, do we share this little island with the next colony? 
for in terms of uh, monuments and all those kind of things? Maybe. What I'm thinking also, though, is we could put the monuments like right here, like on this edge here. There is a spot. One, two, three. I think there are three by three. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three. And that will give us two monuments right there. And if we have the houses in this area, it's it's definitely going to cover them. Uh, the monuments could also sit on top of the other houses as well. That is definitely a possibility. Let's go ahead and add this road here. So they can just work on all of that stuff. I don't know if they'll. it's close enough, but hopefully. We'll see. They are going around and building stuff. That's fascinating to me. I'm, I'm quite like, huh? Why are they doing this? It's very strange, but it's okay. It works. Okay, let's get all of that stuff going. That one underneath as well. Okay, drought has started. I'm going to close these gates here. Height of one. Height of one. Yeah, I'm not actually sure how the water is getting in here. <laughs> I really have no idea. These are, oh, it's one. Ah, I have one open at half height. What is the water level? It's a 0.65. So I've closed every gate except for this one. This one, it's still flowing in. It's now 0.66. I want to see if it gets to 0.7. I am very curious about this. Looks like it's still... Do we have water flowing? Water is still flowing in. 0 0.63, 0 0.64. The others are all closed, I believe. Yeah, they are definitely closed. So... So something here is very strange. I don't know what it is. These are 0.5. Of course, the dams don't say how high they are. Come on, game. Tell us. We want to know. We need data. We love data. 0.64. So the water level is kind of, it's swishing, sloshing a tiny bit. Not very much. 0.63. It was up to 0.7, but that's, it's not 0.5. I mean, not, not, not as in zero, but never mind. <laughs> Humor. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. This is interesting. And yet this is open at 0.5 and the dam is also at 0.5. So indeed it should be down to 0.5. If, if all of these levels were also 0.5, I don't think it is 0.5. I think it is 0.7. Because look at this. It's holding water there. Now I appreciate that the gauge is not there. I am curious. I should make a gauge. I really should make a gauge right there. Oh, these people are unemployed. Okay, uh, go away. Thank you. Uh, all right, and we'll plant some more crops. I probably shouldn't have made him go away quite like that. I probably should have had him cut these other trees, <laughs> but it's okay. It's fine. No worries. Okay, so water wheel has been added. This is great. Uh, let's add another power shaft right here. And we'll just have them build the power shafts one at a time. It's fine. All right, so things are happening. All of these things are now getting built. This is exciting. The beavers, I think, are quite happy about like, hey, let's get over there and figure out what's over there. Uh, I'm think I'm thinking they're kind of kind of excited. Okay, it looks like the convolutedness of the paths here is not going well for our beavers. But as soon as they finish this pathway, we'll be able to get up there and delete a lot of those trees. Uh, if I add, I think what I can do is add a lumberjack here. That, yeah, that will cover the entire thing for sure. And how do we want to get up there? I think we might need, let's see, if we get a temple, let's go and research this templeness thing. A temple is only 400 points. Yes, apparently it's gotten a tiny bit more expensive. Oh my God, it's too, oh no, it's too big. Ah, oh, temple has to be completely on the ground. So it cannot go up here. Oh, this is bad. No. All right. Monuments. Let's buy a monument. Oh, excuse me. Yes, is what I meant. So if this monument is down here, it's only two by two. 
Oh, we may need multiple monuments here for that instead. Oy. Hmm. Confusion. Sadness. Severity. This is not good. Uh, alternatively... <laughs> I would like this to be a housing complex. Alternatively, what we can do instead, maybe we build the temple here in the grove. Does that sound good? It has to be built on land only. Oy. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. There is space here. Um, I could delete this. We could. Um, yeah, I think we would need to delete this and have the beavers come up here for templing. Templing. Uh, hmm. hmm. I am not happy about this at all, by the way. Uh, you can probably tell. Here's five by five. We'll have to delete this lumberjack flag. And what we need to do is move it elsewhere. So I guess what we'll do right now is we'll put it up here temporarily i can put it right there but i want to delete that block with dynamite this is very very sad i mean this this is quite severe all of this yeah sadness is real we're having real authentic sadness for you to enjoy right now <laughs> it sounds so dumb but eh, yeah it's a thing apparently all right, let's keep on building these maples. Let's go, let's go. Let's just keep our woodworker busy. Um, we might have this connected to the other district since it doesn't quite work there. Alternatively, what can we do with this? We can, we can, what can we do here? We could put it... Uh, if we had stairs going here, then they would have to circle around there. That doesn't work. Um, hmm. All right, we'll figure it out later. It'll be fine later. Later is the key word there. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. And meanwhile, back at the ranch, they are building all of this stuff quite faithfully. I'm thinking what we could do, we should put in the other district soon because we need to get this metal going on. Let me go ahead and build a couple of things. I want to unlock the scavenger flag. Yes. And then we'll have, how much is the mine? 4,000 points. Wow. Uh, okay. So we used to have the shredder, which was kind of cool. Now we have a thing called a smelter. That's 300 points. So we're going to go and get that later when we have enough points all right that's gonna go there so let's put in a road here somehow that'll do like that so we have that on the ready now then i think the other colony what we, what might be kind of interesting is we have like a water water colony here what if we did a stepped kind of thing here we could have houses starting out right there we could also have houses in the water for this colony. That would be kind of nice. So if they had, so we have these, we can have these underwater things that kind of lead up to stuff. Now this is only one deep. So if we have walking platforms here like this, We can put in our first houses. Let's let's try this here. Let's see what this is going to look like. We can have here like a couple of lodges, double lodges. There. And then on top of that, we could have more. And that is actually at that level of having the second height of stuff. So this would be... Something like there. So now we have to figure out the other thing, which is to have a staircase from here down to there. Now this can be the walking path for 
both the monuments and these these lodges here. And I think we need to kind of just figure out how we want to do this. I don't think it's going to be terribly complicated. There we go. We can just do something like this for now. There we go. That's one staircase. And then we have... Uh, like this. Okay, we need to have a meetup point there. Because there has to be a road underneath there. So this road, let's go down a couple of layers here. Hello. There we go. So this needs to be a road there. Okay. And how are we going to finagle this? This is going to be most interesting. I have no idea how to do it yet. So I'm just like, okay, let's go. <laughs> All right. Um, maybe, maybe we do something a little bit different and take the road this way. Okay, so it connects there. And then this one will have to connect around it, maybe, potentially. Mm. Let's see. This one is already at that height, so let's just try something else here. Let's do something lower right there. Uh, that way, have a staircase here. And then this can be a road underneath their land, which of course messes that up. <laughs> Jeez. Um... Uh, let's see. If we do that, we need to go down. So we go one, one. No, it still doesn't work. It doesn't work for us at all. This is not ideal. I think this might be too close. This is kind of a funny puzzle, this. Would be nicer if this one was out one a bit, but it's okay. We're, we're going to try this and see if it works and how it works and all the things that may or may not work. Uh, all right, so let's just see if we added a this one and a that one. So we could do something like this. That actually might be better. This might be nicer looking as well. As in, like, we have one monument here, the smaller one, and then we have a road connecting it that way. That's, that's better. I like that much better. And this, of course, is going to be other houses. Let's see what we can do with housing here. Do a double lodge, potentially. Or a triple lodge up there. That's possible. Kind of like the stepped look. Not a big fan of, like, huge blocks that are just block, block, block. Yeah, we could do that for sure. And roof-wise can do some... Man, I really want all the roofs, but they're so expensive right now. Oy. Okay, we can do something like this, which kind of looks cute. Sure, why not? Do that. If we need some, some more building material, I'm sure we can find some somewhere. Let's see, that one... Could probably do one and one and one. Yeah, that's already looking much better. That's quite nice. Yeah, cool. Okay, so there's this. This is, and this is going to be in the other district, which is going to be fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Okay, but I am now looking at the timer and we've gone way past our scheduled time zone. So I'm going to say thank you. Thank you so very much for joining me. Uh, oh, it looks like our windmills. That's another thing that we need to do is get our scientists keeping on going and building science points so we can get better windmills. Uh, maybe even they could research better wind because our, our wind mines aren't finding any at the moment. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.